Beginning podcast. There we go. We're back. We're back from our podcast. Podcast number 13. 13. Unbelievable. Last week we had uh, Ross. Uh, it seemed to go down pretty well. Uh, actually scheduled it for Tuesday where I want to get these podcasts out and sort of regular. Uh, need a guest on for this Tuesday. Any suggestions? Uh, Who did we mention Lin- earlier on? Lin- Lindsay Watson. And? Darnell Moore. I'll have to give him a shout and see. I think, Fiona uh, Kelly mentioned she wants to do one. Don't know if she's serious or not. Well, it's called call everyone's bluff. But um, yeah. yeah, we're back here today, joined again by Mark. Um, we're just going to recap the last round of Swift, as some people will be happy to know. Um, I've already mentioned the podcast of people and they've been, yeah, well, since you're not talking about Swift, give us a shout. <laughs> so some people will be glad to hear that we're, well, it's the only thing happening, really, isn't it? There's nothing else happening. So we've had eight rounds over the last eight weeks. Um, a big thank you to Ross and Co company there for organizing it and a big thank you to yourself mark fiona uh ross and tommy for jumping yeah. in for the commentary um so yeah we'll we'll jump on the results here and, and talk a wee bit about last night's race go ahead over to you boy. yeah last night's race it was a good one the long one 42.2k in distance two claims in this one so he, he said he was saving the best for last and he definitely did that there because it was long uh, i'm usually in the house for like 10 to 8 i don't think it was in the house to near half 8 so yeah uh good good racing uh overall let me just get my screen sorted out here uh the top three were all d riders who stayed away davy okay. gordon got the win Dan O'Connor in second and Richard Lennon in third. Um, Davy Gordon won it by a minute 54 on his own. Right, okay. The closest C rider to him was two minutes and seven. The closest B rider to him was two minutes 33. And the closest A rider, who was Gary Walker, was three minutes 17 behind the winner. I have something I've brought up here and I'm seeing completely different. I have something. Yeah. We'll, we'll stick with yours. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mine's definitely right. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I have Lee Clark as the winner in the A's. Has it, has it changed again? Oh, no, no. I, I've hit a button. I apologize. You know. Yeah, you're starting to, it's starting to worry me here. Yeah, but uh, keep going there. You were, you were throwing it rightly there, and then I just threw an already hand grenade in. Yeah, we're just, uh, my next question is, how'd the race go for you, Glenn? Uh, yeah, all good, um, as expected. Wasn't in the front group, but uh, was in the, I think it was in the second group of the, of the A's, which was, accept, I'll, accept, I'll accept that and take it. Um, everyone, everyone rode nice and steady, big group on the, what's it called, the Fergo Flats? Fergo Fugu. Flats? Fugu yeah. Flats? Yeah. yeah, nice and steady. There's one we rise on it, and then we came to the volcano climb. I sort of done a bit of a recon and looked a few videos up and seen that it was broke down into two sort of segments. So, uh, watched the video back today. Um, I think I was at like 400 odd watts, and then um, it yeah, leveled, there's levels off. Yeah, parts of that climb you were 400, 450. Yeah, you were pushing up it, and then it levels off, and then there was a there was a second asking, shall we say? Yes. And I didn't have an answer. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, the, the, the likes of Stuart Miller, Gary Walker, they had a wee dig up that. Yeah. Uh, Gary Walker in particular, he tried to get away. Now his watts weren't much more than mine. Maybe like an extra 100. But he's a few kilos lighter. Yeah. Well, 100 <laughs> so, watts is a lot, like. Well, on that plus the extra, the, the extra kilos, like. The, the weight difference, yes. So watching that back, it was very impressive. Those guys just sort of rode off. Um, there was a Stuart Miller as well. There was, a, there was sort of yep. There was about uh, eight or nine of them. Stuart Miller, Gary Walker, Lindsay made the group. Yeah. Uh, uh, James Curry, Seth. Just about. He, uh, yeah, I've seen the video where James just about made it over. And, and yeah, James down. sort of. Yeah, he lost touch a wee, touch a wee bit, and he was riding really hard to get back in, and he did get back in. So fair play to him, and oh. managed the podium. Oh, fair play, fair play. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now what I did notice with with. My uh, avatar, he was actually out of the saddle last night <laughs> for the first time I've seen it in a long oh. time. And I've said it before. I just don't, I just don't know what you have to do. Like, I, I am giving a Dixie, not as much <laughs> as Ross does. 
but uh yeah he finally got out of the saddle last night so um Must have been pushing. Making, yeah didn't make it on the front group sort of going over the top was maybe top 20 there was a few a riders around me a couple of b's um and we sort of bubbled up caught a few more guys on the descent so i think the front of my group was racing for 11th was it would that be right yeah so yeah happy enough uh, there was this, that second sort of kicker which i've done a cycling island race in the past and uh, that second climb what's it called reverse climb yep and i done a race one saturday morning and it was after a few k and i was out the back on that so i knew that that was coming up um, i was out of the saddle on it and yeah give myself a wee bit of a fallback but I was happy enough with that one last night. So, oh, what was your overall place? Did you get it? 20 something? 17. Not bad for two claims. 17. 17 not bad. Yeah. Not bad for two claims. Yeah. So, I think it was a wee bit shallower than Box Hill, so a wee bit more favorable. Um, but yeah, we came in that wee group together. So, I was what, four minutes down? Jeez. Is that right? Yeah. Four minutes down on the winner over across the line. Just a minute yep. now on. A first group, which I'll take that. I'll take that. So and uh, Chris, Chris Cameron had a decent enough race in the seas. Let's see where our Chris was. He was uh fourth place. Oh, good man. Yeah, he uh he he was messaging me, but I wasn't looking at my phone. I was just trying to keep everything going smooth. And uh he said yeah. he was winning for a wee while, and then ended up in fourth place. So fourth place, not bad for our Chris, no. like mountain no, biker for, for anybody. We're talking about. Talk yeah, well, go, go. Talking go. about mountain bikes. I was watching the thing and we had, uh, well, what's his name again? Gareth McKee. Gareth McKee, yeah. Riding better. it on a mountain bike. Go for it. Yeah. And he was actually going really well and up over the climbs on the mountain bike, no sweat. I'm, uh, like, I'm just trying to get his overall place here because he was in the top 20. It wasn't. It oh, just outside the top efficient. 20. The, the, mountain 23rd. Not, the mountain bike's not as efficient, is that right? No. Nowhere near it, no. Ah, uh, jeepers. Uh, yeah. Let me see, I had it written down here. Uh, Road is MTB, finished 23rd in the A group and uh, two minutes down on Gary Walker Jeepers. on a mountain bike. Must have just been behind our group. Must have, must have got the tow bar on our group, like. No, he wasn't so, far off, these guys. I'm looking here at the time gaps. So his, his overall time gap to the leader was five minutes 33. It's a minute behind us. Yours was four minute 21. So yeah, just a minute behind you. A fair play, fair play. Yeah, so, I, I'm, I'm one, I'd like to know why. I'm thinking he was doing a mountain bike thing on Swift and he just forgot to change the bike and then he's... Or, like, yeah, he's got... Well, uh, oh, crap. Him. I'll just go with it here. In the pen. What I did do, just I went and read how long the, the, the last guy was. 31 minutes down. Oh, really? A guy called Mark B, a D-rider. Uh, fair play to him for finishing. 31 minutes Yeah, down. Mark on B, it. yeah. On his own. Um, yeah. Clinchy. Clinchy guy. Clinchy yeah. CC, yeah. That would, that would be tough on your own, that last. Mentally tough more than anything, really. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, thir- yeah 31. Like. But uh, yeah, good race. Good overall series now. Can't, uh, over. Yeah, eight weeks of um, sitting in the garage. I, I'm sort of glad. Let's put it like that. Um, there's a few other things that I'd rather be doing on a Wednesday night now that we'll have a wee bit of light. Yeah. Um, or stretch in the evening. There is something else happening next Wednesday, a bit of a test event for the upcoming Tour of the North. Digital Tour of the North, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know if we're streaming that or not. Have to figure out what he's doing first. And I don't know if anybody wanna watch a test event, you know. You'll probably get decent views on the Tour of the North. Yeah. Stream, well, but as far as uh, reading between the lines, it's not just gonna be local boys, there's gonna there's a couple of yep. drop ins. So yeah. a little bit, yeah. Um, yeah. So and you're you're not riding it, you're streaming. You're streaming. Up. Yeah. Well, I've not a few weeks, and we'll give it. We'll give it taxi. I'll, I probably not, I'll probably not bother much with the Swift until then. To be honest, with you. Three weeks training. You can get three weeks real world. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, yeah. I've been real world. I haven't been on Swift now in two weeks. I've been real world. And you're you well, are the you are the Swift man. I'm the Swift streamer. Yeah. Ross well. Ross is the Swift man and Tommy. Yeah, but yeah, real, real world has helped me out. Not taking anything away from Swift, but yeah, like, sitting here on Swift, you sort of just want to get out, and then the minute yeah. you get out, 
you feel better and you can go longer, go harder. Like I'm 12 hour weeks sir, which never ever happened before. Seriously? Yeah, so that 12 hour week's good for me. I'm down to five or six at the moment. That's, that's, <laughs> that's two hours with the kids. Yeah. You get up early enough, you can do all the training you want. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, so the upcoming to the north, it's, it's going to be good. I think yesterday was a sort of insight. Last night's race was a sort of insight to what some of the stages are going to be like because yeah. they, aren't, they aren't chase races, which is going to be the big thing. Um, next week's not, next Wednesday mightn't be a chase race. No, I don't think it will be because they're, they're trying to see what way it's going to go. Stream-wise. And how it'll, yeah, hand, stream-wise and... Hand grenade-wise. Yeah, because if it's not a chase race, mass start. Yeah. Through these, it's going to be interesting to see. So there'll be no sticky watts. Who can yeah. hold on to who? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, like a, a f- couple of stages in the Town North in the past, there's like, there's been a couple of days where there's been boys coming across the lines and ones and twos. So, yeah. Yeah. It's going to be. It, it will. I'm pretty sure it'll be like that on Swift. All, all three stages, maybe. <laughs> well, yeah, probably will. Yeah. So the TT is on the Saturday, am I right? Saturday, Sunday, Yeah, it's Monday. after the. So the Saturday, after the first st- first stage, and then first the stage is going to be an hour, hour and an hour in between. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see what way this TT will work. Yeah, I had, I had big look Joyce in today, and he was sort of telling me a wee bit about it. Apparently, it's flat with a hill at the end, bit of a right, bit of a straight up at the end. Right. Don't know much about it. Haven't really looked into it. Um. The two in the North handbooks were always a thing of the past. I wonder what we'll be getting one this year. You'll have to ask Ross that question. Yeah, handbooks, you used to get the handbook maybe maybe about a week or two before, you know, and last year's winner was on it and broke the last year's sort of season down. Um, so, yeah, I wonder if we'll be getting one of those. It used to make the interesting reading, you know. If you want to keep it. Two of the North, yeah. Swift. Yeah. yeah, so interesting. will be interesting, something different. Um, but, yeah. Looking forward to that now. Yeah, I'm I, just looking up this TT stage here and see what it's like. See if you know, see if you can find anything out. But yeah, what was the biggest off the top of your head? What was the biggest uh, turnout for the races? Oh, it was what? over. The, there was one t- um, event there was 554 or something. Riders. Yeah. Jeez. Brilliant. Yeah, I think maybe the first three or four were up over the fives. Yeah. Um, the last ones did fall away for some reason. That's uh, just, I think that's just the weather, you know. I don't, don't know why. Uh, yes, I'm just looking at this TT stage now. It is pan flat with your kicker at the end, you say. But it doesn't look that steep. Like. Send me that wee graphic through there. Whenever you get a chance, I'll, I'll fire on the video here. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, I'm looking forward to that. I did say to the wife now about it. And, but... You're allowed. We're, we're allowed, shall we say. But um, <laughs> yeah, fair play to the guys for organising it. Like I was talking to Ross about it last week and sort of saying, you know, if, if some sort of organisers can be, you know, leaning a bit more towards online events as an easy op, op out, you know what I mean? But I think people still at the end of the day will want to be run events as opposed to just an easy op out of a digital event, you know? Aye, definitely, yeah. So hopefully we'll know by the 1st of April what's happening. Yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah. Are you planning the race? I'll ride April, or are you going to... I'll ride around with a number on my back. I don't know about racing. <laughs> I'll ride around. And my numbers actually came the other day. Yeah, yeah, I went leisure. Ah, that's right. We'll, re- we'll register you up. Yep. Aye. But fingers crossed, yeah. There's no, no, no word on dates or races or anything as yet. Um, no. We have the ball rolling with a few things, as we say. But... Yeah, finger crossed. So we'll try and get... The, we'll send a few messages out here and try and get something else on board. Um, a couple of the Swifters there's no point in getting anybody else in at the moment that's not too clued up on, on the Swift race and see from the other side what's that we get Jim in and see how, how he's going with his numbers <laughs> but uh, I think that's everything guys hopefully the next podcast we won't be talking about Swift and we'll be able to get some new listeners well we might be we'll be talking about how the test event went for the and Tour yeah. of the North the um, sort of video there's two sort of sides to the podcast is the audio which is on Spotify and all those ones, you, uh, uh, iTunes. And then we have the video version on YouTube, which we're going down the road with with a couple of different things here with lights, which I realize I just don't have switched on, so you can't see my beautiful uh, reflection. Can't see the shine on the top of your head. head. No, it's a wee bit. It's a wee bit. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're trying to get people in here in the next few weeks and have to start lining people up for that. I think Danny's going to have to get him in 
Yeah, you're going to have to do one with Danny for sure. Yeah, definitely, because he's put enough back into the sport to get him back in. So, yeah, yeah guys, stick with it. Uh, share it. There, there's a lot of, a wee bit of commenting on, on the last one there. I forgot to share it. Um, I say I scheduled it. Other people done it, and I was like, ah, Jesus. Yeah, we don't even share your own podcast. So, yeah, the ball's rolling. We're getting there anyway. Yeah, you had good views on Ross's podcast. Uh, it went out well, but all, all the Tuz fanboys of Ross will be all listening to that there, you see. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're up to near 180 listens just on the YouTube, so yeah, it's not those, too bad. Get the pence in, you know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, I think that's everything, mate. Um, yep, we'll try and get another recap in next week. If we don't get a guest in, I'll get you in. No bar. Cheers, boy. Right, take her easy. Bye. Bikini podcast.